think it was like, I maybe have been here a month when the editor at the time, Dave Pickle, uh, came to me and said, you know, uh, for the last few years, we've been dealing with this uh, issue of uh, Native American mascots, where the uh, executive committee at the time had, had banned the use of Native American mascots when they were used for hostile and abusive depictions of, of Native Americans. And so Dave came to me and was like, you know, we're talking so much about Native Americans and, and, you know, in sports, but we're not talking about what sports means to Native Americans. And so his charge to me was basically, let's go find out. And so the story that I really kind of came across, I, I, I found out that these tribal colleges in Montana had actually formed their, essentially their own version of the NCAA, they, they, this Tribal Colleges Athletic Association, um, that several of them who don't have a lot of money, don't have a lot of expendable uh, in income, um, really kind of their, their institutions really operate on a pretty lean budget, just really focused on giving their people an opportunity to get a, a, a you know better education. Um, and so you know it really kind of struck me you know that this these schools were taking such steps to try to use basketball as a way to compel these kids to go on to colleges. So I, I went out and I spent uh, some time with the uh, with the Crow tribe. Um, in Montana at Little Bighorn College and uh, they had gotten some federal grant money and used it to build a basketball gym. And you kind of go, you know, why, you know, if you get this money, you've got all these problems of alcoholism and drug use on your, in your city, uh, you know, why would you use it on a basketball gym? And it's because they were using it as a beacon of hope. That was probably one of my favorite um, cover not cover story, but feature story that we did. Because it was one of those things that we really had to gain the respect of the people that we were writing about, kind of gain their trust in order to get the shots, the candid shots that we needed for it. We really bonded with the subject matters there. And I think those are, are what make the best covers is when we are able to have some sort of connection with a student athlete or the subject matter that we're shooting and kind of get their story and, and still photography. When you report on a really good, meaningful story that goes beyond sports, it it leaves you wanting the story to go on. You know, it's wanting. You know, you're, you're you're rooting for a sequel. I've wanted a reason to go back and and write about how the things that they did really did make a difference and really have changed their community. Uh, and so I'm. I think more than any story I've done for Champion, that's one that I, I I've hoped more than any that I can go back and follow up on it.